The iPad mini is different enough where I feel like it has added utility, even if you already have an iPad like the iPad Pro, and especially if it's the 12.9 inch size. This is because with the iPad mini, we're getting that portability factor, but in a nicer redesigned package that we're used to seeing with the iPad Pros and now the new iPad Airs. And I think the iPad mini is great for students. Now you can argue that an iPad like the iPad Pro, the iPad Air, or even the iPad 9th generation is a better option for note taking if you're a student or illustration. And I won't deny the fact that having a bigger and larger display is is really, really nice for movies, media consumption, taking notes, or illustration. However, when I was a college student, I appreciated having smaller tools. And I'm not that long out of college, I graduated in May. I appreciated having a smaller laptop, a smaller calculator, smaller notebooks, smaller pens, pencils, whatever. A lot of the reasoning behind having smaller or lighter tools as a college student is because you could seriously throw out your back with all of the stuff that you're throwing into your backpack. Like seriously, all the textbooks, all the notebooks and stuff in your backpack, it adds a whole lot of weight to your back, especially if you're walking around on campus. Another reason for having smaller or lighter tools, and I don't know if this is just because of my alma mater, which was UNC, but the desks in really large lecture halls, like 300, 400 students, the desks are freakishly small. The first iPad that I ever used as a college student was actually the iPad sixth generation with the first generation Apple Pencil. And even then the iPad didn't actually fit on the desks in the lecture halls that I had my classes in. I actually got my iPad Pro during the pandemic. So I didn't actually have any in-person classes when I had my iPad Pro, but 100% it would have not fit on those small desks in lecture halls if I did have in-person classes when I had the iPad Pro model. Between buses and dining halls and game days and small desks and lecture halls and labs, college is a really, really tight place. And it's even tighter if your college is large and you have tons of students just running everywhere. So that's when it's great to have smaller and lighter tools. And that's why I appreciated having smaller and lighter tools as a college student. So in instances like that, I would have loved to have the iPad mini as a student when I was in college. So the iPad mini is about the size of a small paperback novel and it's powerful enough for note taking, illustration, and even gaming. It's absolutely gorgeous with the edge to edge display and it's small enough to slip in your pocket or just take it out on the bus without causing too much of a scene. And because of the gorgeous new and powerful redesign of the iPad mini, you all wanted to see how to take notes on the iPad mini or how I would take notes on the iPad mini if I used this during college. Now when it comes to short form note taking, such as somebody giving you their phone number, or you're trying to write down a reminder of an after school meeting or an email or something, the quick note feature that came with iPadOS 15 that Apple recently released is a great feature to use for that. So you can access that on any iPad model that you have actually that is updated to iPad OS 15, but it's especially great on the iPad mini. By swiping up from the bottom right hand corner, you'll have this kind of little note window pop up. You can start a new note here if you've already used a quick note feature and you can just quickly write down a phone number, an email, an after school meeting you have to go to or something like that. So you can just write a quick note here. Quick notes are also great if you need to quickly browse and pull information from a web page that you have pulled up. So maybe an exam date or something that the professor came up with, some important point of a syllabus, you can actually pull it up in the web browser, pull in links, pictures, and the quick note will actually link back to that on the web page. So this is really great feature for just short form note taking. And I would recommend trying out Apple notes in general to see how it would be for note taking on the iPad mini, especially if you're a student who envisions themselves using the iPad mini for note taking like this as well. So I can just pull up a web page. I can drag and drop across the whole system on the iPad. Now I can add that to my note if I wanted. And let's say I'm just doing research on the company Purple, Purple Mattresses for whatever reason. I can actually just go to this web page here and I can highlight anything on this web page, add it to a quick note, 
and then it's automatically going to link back to those highlights on this web page. So Quick Note is a fantastic feature for short form note taking as a student and especially as a college student. When it comes to taking notes in lecture, however, and if I had the iPad mini while I was in college, I wouldn't do it in the traditional sense that most people think of when they think of taking notes on the iPad. Now I actually have a pretty recent video of how I take notes on my iPad and I'll be sure to link that in the cards in the description for you, but that's how I take notes on on my iPad Pro 12.9 inch using the GoodNotes app. And whenever I take notes, pretty kind of aesthetic notes like that, it's usually just a review. Notes that I take in preparation for an exam to kind of test my knowledge or just have a great one to two page type note system where I can just write out the most important features, most important diagrams and pictures. So that's more so note taking in preparation for an exam. And that's the kind of note taking that I normally would take at home, not during lectures and maybe on something like my iPad Pro. And this doesn't mean that you can't take notes like that on your iPad mini. You might just have a little bit more trouble doing split screen because I do like using split screen whenever I take my notes like that. You might have to zoom in and out a little bit more than you would on a display like the iPad Pro, but it's still entirely doable to take notes like that. Instead, I would use my iPad mini to take notes during lectures. And the way I take notes during lectures is very different than how I take those pretty kind of aesthetic Tumblr-esque notes. So 99% of the time I would have PowerPoint slides or the textbook or some kind of reference that I could use while I was taking notes during the lecture. So during the lecture, I would have those slides, those PowerPoint slides pulled up, the textbook or whatever, and I would be annotating and writing down additional points that the professor makes. Highlighting certain keywords that are brought up in the PowerPoint, circling words, writing out diagrams, and just writing out what they're saying during the lecture on those slides or on those specific textbook pages that they're mentioning. So if I had the iPad Pro and the iPad mini while I was in college, the way I would do it is I would take my iPad mini with me to campus, take my notes there. I would pull up my PowerPoint slides and lecture halls on the itty bitty desks, annotate my PowerPoint slides, write out my diagrams and the GoodNotes app. Then I would take the bus home and I would likely pull out the iPad mini on the bus, kind of review my annotations or my slides there. Occasionally I would review flashcards on the bus. Then once I got home, had a bit of time to relax, decompress, whatever, in preparation for exams and whatnot, I would pull out my big iPad Pro and take the beautiful aesthetic looking notes that everyone posts in preparation for my exams, those kind of longer form review style notes based on the slides and notes that I took on my iPad mini using those lecture slides or reference tools that I was provided during lecture. The longer form like pretty notes that I shared in my past how I take my notes videos and the notes that you typically will see me share, I don't actually take notes like that all the time. That's generally for classes that I feel like I need a little bit more review in or where I feel like I need to have these beautiful notes that I feel like I need to study and use them as review tools for exams. So kind of like how you would leave your desktop computer at home, I would opt to leave my iPad Pro at home and take my longer form notes on that and then take something portable and pretty cute like the iPad mini for my PowerPoint annotations and any other notes or documents that I needed to write on or assign. The iPad mini is also the perfect size for reviewing flashcards and any other kind of study review materials because you can just pull it out anywhere like on the bus or in the libraries or any other kind of tight spaces on your campus. So just thinking back to how cramped I was in a lot of the classrooms and lecture halls I was in, it was honestly kind of an inconvenience to myself and others when people pulled out their large, like 13 inch laptops even. And so I definitely see the iPad mini as a tremendous tool to have then. And I could see how that could apply now, especially if your campus is kind of tight and there's people on either side of you with these kind of large laptops or large iPads even. If you're any sort of campus leader for any of your organizations as well, the iPad mini would be a great tool to have to kind of refer to as your speaking, so your speaker notes or whatever. So I was a campus leader for a social justice organization on my campus, and I actually just toted my laptop kind of within my arm and referred to that if I needed to remind myself of any notes or points that I needed to say, but I would have loved to have something like the iPad mini to refer to because it's kind of the perfect size 
it's more subtle and you're kind of connecting with your organization more by not having kind of your laptop in your face to refer to whenever you're speaking if you need speaker notes. So the iPad mini would also be a great tool for speaking if you're a campus leader or to take notes if you do meeting notes during your meetings or even whenever you have to give a presentation, a class presentation. And maybe it's just because I was recently a student where I feel like, again, Apple with the redesign of the iPad mini is really catering to students. But as I've demonstrated in my other videos, the iPad mini is a great device for illustration. I have a real-time gouache paint with me on the iPad mini using Procreate. And it's also a great device for media consumption and gaming. I will be sure to link my videos below so you can see me game on the iPad mini as well and how I use it kind of in my day-to-day -day life along with my iPad Pro 12.9 inch. So if you like this video, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so I know that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, I appreciate you so much for watching the video all the way through. So if you like this video and you wanna see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and you can turn on the bell icon so you can always get a notification from me when I upload, but I do upload weekly on the iPad and film iPad creative content like digital planning, Procreate tutorials, and just so much more. So thank you so, so much for watching another video of mine and I will see you next week with another video. Bye everyone.